Hi Aries, you need to know this right now for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2024. Show me. Happy birthday, Aries. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Aries. One at a time, Aries. One at a time. You have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aries, you could be walking away or returning. Now you can tell me because of some type of secret, you're walking away and detaching. You can tell me that you're using your intuition that maybe you need to walk away. Or you're using your intuition about whether or not you should return. Aries, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aries, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aries, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture, someone from your past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So Aries, listen, I mean, are you using your intuition about whether or not to return and offer them so that you guys can reunite? Or are you using your intuition on whether you should return because they're offering you an offer to reunite here? Or Aries, is this offer coming in from someone from your past? You have a secret as to why you're leaving where you are. 
possibly going towards your past. What? You can tell me that the secret is someone accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone from their past, and this is the reason why you're leaving. You can tell me that you're finding out that someone accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone. It happened in the past, but it's being brought back up here. This is the secret. Aries, you have the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four of swords for Aries. Clarify the four of swords for Aries. Clarify the four of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Aries, clarify the star. For Aries, clarify the star. For Aries, it is clarified with the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Aries, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Hmm. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. It is clarified with the nine of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, very well could be getting your wish here. You could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Hmm. Aries, you can tell me that you're over here meditating on healing things with this person, using your intuition that maybe you should come in to apologize here, Aries. You know, this would be your wish for you guys to get back together. Like I said, you may want to return. You're using your intuition to return to this person, reunite, give a token of love, what have you. Aries, you can tell me that you're not speaking to this person because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. And you're kind of just trying to numb out. You're trying to heal and recover. This is the reason why you left some type of secret here. They could have been dealing with someone else, someone from their past where it was something that happened in the past. However, Aries, when I take a look at this long star state over here, longing, are you over here meditating and longing to be with someone, Aries? I want to know if you're secretly leaving to go towards someone from your past, Aries. 
Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here, Aries. So Aries, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Aries, listen. Yes, you can tell me that you're not giving up. You're going to fight for your relationship, your commitment here. Or you're telling me that you're highly suspicious. And this is the reason why things are ending? Or you're guarding the fact of why you want to end it? I just want to know if you're secretly sneaking off to someone, Aries. I just want to know if you're secretly sneaking off. I just want to know if you're doing it. If you're leaving for a reason and you're trying to guard the fact of, you're trying to guard the reason why you're ending it. I'm just asking. Because I see what I see. Dang, you have the page of cups again. <laughs> so listen, Aries, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Aries, clarify the page of cups. For Aries, clarify the page of cups. For Aries, it is clarified with the moon again. This moon over here, like I said, it could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition, or you have a secret. I'm sorry, or there's a secret. Clarify the moon. For Aries, clarify the moon. For Aries, clarify the moon. For Aries, it is clarified with death. Could be dealing with Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Aries. Clarify death for Aries. Clarify death for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Aries, you can tell me that huh, you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. This is the secret that's coming out. This is what's causing you to walk away. You heard that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone from their past, or it could have been something that happened in the past. And you don't trust it, Aries. You just want to end it and become single because of this secret. But Aries, I, I kept saying it, and I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know, Aries. Are you ending things? 
and becoming single because you secretly have some admirer somewhere, someone that you admire somewhere that that is beckoning you, that is calling your name, saying, Aries, I want you over here. Aries, I want you over here. You know, I, I feel like you're leaving a situation to go towards a situation where you want to be. It's where you want to be. Donnell Jones, where you want to be. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Aries. And it says, nightlife gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Nightlife gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Okay, feeling lucky. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? And it says, hamster wheel, surviving daily hustle. Hamster wheel, surviving daily hustle. You better go to Vegas. If you're lucky. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at her immortal maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.